fuck? So whether if you're playing the DLC or the base game of Doom Eternal, Ultra Nightmare sucks. Well, subjectively. I feel like it's probably the best way to play the game, but for those that like to take their time and play on a little bit of a lower setting and not play so much on the edge of their seats, so to speak, it sucks. Especially if you don't know exactly what you're getting yourself into. Now, I do do my Ultra Nightmare guides, which are basically full walkthroughs of every level, which, if you guys are waiting for the Blood Swamps guide, coming out very soon. Very proud of figuring out that level to a T. I just gotta redo the Maligog trial and we're good to go. But those guides are painfully long and they're more for a specific problem. Like if you're stuck on a certain level or on a certain fight, then that would be something you might want to look into. Besides those guides, I still get asked on a day to day on how to gain the advantages in fights, how to prepare yourself for Ultra Nightmare, and ultimately how to just become an overall better player. And that by itself is an incredibly hard question to answer because everybody's on their own skill level. Everybody learns differently. Everybody doesn't react the same. But in this video, I'm going to try my best to help everybody as much as I possibly can in terms of preparing yourself for Ultra Nightmare, some things that I've done to make my runs personally easier, and some things that you can do along the way. And this might be able to help you as well if you're not just trying to complete Ultra Nightmare. Maybe if you're just trying to learn the ebb and flow of this game, then this could be a, a solid foundation to build your skill set off of. But before jumping into this video, I propose a question to you guys. And I definitely want to hear from people that have beat Ultra Nightmare in both the base game and Ancient Gods. What have you guys done to get yourself to that level, to that skill set to be able to complete the harder difficulties? If you're not quite there yet, what are you currently doing to try and boost A, your reaction time, B, weapon mods, weapon combinations, how you move, what arenas did you struggle with, how you overcame those? I'm by no means the best Doom player. I would actually knock myself down a bit and say I'm the model average player that just managed to make guides off of the knowledge that I've accumulated or that I'm still currently learning. Anyways, I look forward to hearing your guys' answers down below. Now, I was going to make this a very deep video, but it got way longer than I wanted to. So we're going to skip basics. And if you want multiple videos like this, then let me know. Fuck yeah, I'll cover basics if you want. But I wanted to cover more of the advanced stuff. Like I said, what helped me? What helped me out big time is playing Nightmare with my HUD off. That gave me a better intuitive feel or where my health was whenever I received damage damage from certain demons at any given time. I also made it a habit to utilize animations strategically, that being glory kills and chainsaws even if i didn't need health even if i didn't need ammo you gotta take advantage of those opportunities because it can save you from getting cornered it can save you from instantly dying and it gives you a moment to assess the situation maybe a demon spawned let's say you know a baron's gonna spawn and you know a whiplash is gonna spawn but you don't know where exactly they are and you're not in a position to throw yourself in the air to get a bird's eye view of where everything is in that case chainsaw or a glory kill might come in handy because because that gives the demons an opportunity to yes get closer to you but also with them being closer to you you can get an idea of where they are now and if you have a solid knowledge of the arena layout then beforehand based off of where you already are you know what your exit route is going to be how you can circle back around and isolate either the baron or the whiplash in this given situation because i would say in different arenas different demons might require higher priority because certain arenas might give you quote unquote natural obstacles that might save you from one demon Demon, but still make you a little vulnerable to other demons and I said it a thousand times before and I'll say it again whenever you get the opportunity to throw yourself in the air do it when you're in the air you're at a major advantage especially with the air control rune you're just that much more mobile and it's that much easier to dodge airborne projectiles projectiles are already airborne I shut up I'm tired so take advantage of animations take advantage of being in the air and as I mentioned take advantage of the environment which leads us into the next handful of tips which I'm gonna use blood swamps to help me out here I'm gonna use both trials as prime examples of what I mean here because they give us major advantages before we start and this advantage is triggering the fight whenever we want and this allows us to learn the arena layout before the fight even begins which I highly recommend doing so take a mental note where is all the health where are all the armor pickups where are all the ammo pickups where are the launch pads located are there any monkey bars where are those are there any portals okay where are the exit routes of all these portals how can I chain a launch pad to a monkey bar to the portal or vice 
vice versa. Where are the choke points? I would say learning the arena layout as half the fight and then knowing the demon spawns or what demons you're facing at any given time and whether if the fight is wave based or heavy demons are just fed into the fights or place the heavies that you took out. That knowledge, in my opinion, is the difference between beating a fight or getting your ass clapped and being frustrated because you were completely caught off guard. You didn't know what you're facing. In my guides, I also talk about saving up three chainsaw charges so that way you can immediately eliminate heavy demons from fights. If you know where there's ammo at in the arena, you don't have to chainsaw. You can save onto that a little longer and wait to take out that Dread Knight. Wait to take out that Mancubus or Cyber Mancubus. You don't have to panic and waste that extra fuel. But I'm going to give you guys a basic rundown to this fight right here. Simple explanation. Very easy once you realize it. So when you start the fight, there's going to be a Revenant directly in front of you, a Revenant directly to your right. You can lock on either one of them immediately kill one of them head to your right take out that buff totem you're gonna have to kill some extra of heavy demons and then there's gonna be a second buff totem that spawns you can either take the portal that's closest to you on the left hand side and then it'll put you directly in front of that buff totem if you're not in a position to get through the portal, that's fine. You can take the monkey bar on the right hand side or you can go straight to the left and take it out that way. Once that second buff totem is taken care of, you can now focus on the two tyrants that spawned with that buff totem. Once at least one of those tyrants are killed, the possessed Baron is going to spawn, which honestly isn't even that much trouble if you can use monkey bars and jump pads to continuously stay out of his reach. Meat hook other demons to kind of distance yourself from him a little bit more. Maybe chip at his and the normal Baron's health. Freeze the normal Baron, finish off the possessed Baron, and then finish off the spirit. And then now it's just a simple fight where I, again, use the entire arena to my advantage. In the other trial, you got to deal with three Mancubite, a Cyber Mancubus, and then when all of them are killed, four Revenants spawn. When you kill that fourth revenant, this is where knowledge comes into play. When that fourth revenant is killed, some arachnotrons are going to spawn, but the important thing here is one of those arachnotrons spawn possessed. So as soon as that fourth revenant is killed, if you immediately fire off a BFG shot, you can instantly get rid of that summoner before it causes you any trouble. And then once that summoner is killed and all the arachnotrons are dealt with, an archvile and a doom hunter is going to spawn. When that archvile is killed, another archvile is going to spawn. And then now you just have to deal with the second archvile, the doom hunter, and then all the fodder demon and that's it so again arena knowledge knowledge of whether if it's a wave based fight or a fed fight where heavy demons are consistently replaced knowing what the last demon is if it is a wave based fight to lead to the next wave are all things that can make arena fights that much simpler as i showed you you can completely eliminate summoners from entire fights if you prepare yourself i would also suggest moving first shooting second this is a tactic that's always going to help you but it's, but especially if you're coming across an arena that you don't know exactly what's in the fight what the arena layout is where everything is Current in your situation maybe you're aware that there are certain demons in the arena but you lost track of them don't be afraid to stop take a moment throw yourself in the air via a launch pad or if you're talented and know exactly how to utilize meat hooking use that to throw yourself in the air get an idea of where everything is as i talked about use your environment to your advantage and then based off the environment what the arena is and what demons are in the fight you may have to switch up your demon priorities so let's talk quick overview know your arena layout use the environment to your advantage natural obstacles are going to help you prioritize or change up your demon priorities in certain situations take advantage of portals monkey bars launch pads make it a habit to strategically use glory kills and chainsaw animations as you are invulnerable during those times once those animations end dash in a direction that's free of any potential of you getting stuck or cornered learn the demon spawns i would say spawn locations are important but they're definitely second to knowing what's going to spawn next being aware of when a baron is going to spawn i'd say is more important than knowing where that baron spawns because you because you don't want to get caught off guard being hit by that baron because you weren't aware of where you were in the fight and when he was supposed to spawn and then especially on ultra nightmare because you got tagged by a baron unexpectedly you're going to panic and that increases your chances of dying and finally uh, i would recommend on your ultra nightmare run having a nightmare save and then play the mission that you're currently on your ultra nightmare run on on your nightmare run 
run. So for instance, if you're on your Ultra Nightmare run on Mars Core, play your Nightmare run on Mars Core before your Ultra Nightmare run, and then make note of every demon, or at least every heavy demon that spawns in the in the arenas that you're going to be facing, which is going to boost up your preparation, your knowledge of those fights, and of course help you formulate a strategy beforehand rather than on the fly. But anyways, those are my basic little bit more advanced tips for becoming a little bit of a better player or at least making Ultra Nightmare a little bit easier on yourself. I thought it was something really interesting. I might actually make a strategy video on Ultra Nightmare when you're on the verge of death. Some things you can do to immediately recuperate your health or regain the advantage. I think running through Ancient Gods, I learned to do that quite a lot. And there's so many times my run should have ended and I managed to catch myself and switch the situation back into my advantage. So I might make a guide on something like that. If you're on the verge of death, how to recuperate your health, how to move around the fight, pinpoint certain demons to regain armor health or ammo and we'll go from there uh let me know what you guys think down in the comment section if you guys have anything else to add to this conversation like always i am not the best doom player by any means and of course everyone learns differently so i'm interested to see what exactly you guys did to get to your skill set where you're at currently and what you feel like you have to do to get to the level that you feel you're gonna be your best at like always guys my name is cynic thank you all so much for watching if you guys haven't joined the discord yet link to that is always down below it's a little bit of a shit show but it's one of the best ways to contact me directly I, I try to be as active as i possibly can in that thing if you have any questions on ultra nightmare or any other video ideas you can always type that stuff up in the comment section or in the discord but until next time i'll see y'all later